Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Indesit IB55732 fridge freezer. What I want to do today is show you around the fridge freezer, some of the features and benefits that it offers. First of all, I'm just going to pop a tape measure across it, just show you the dimensions of it. So first of all, the width of it, you're looking around 54, well, around 54 and a half centimetres, or around 21 and a half inches. As far as the height of it, so that's 108, well, including the hinge on the other side, really 182 centimetres, or around 71 and a half inches. And then the depth of it, so front to back, including the grill. I'll show you the grill in a minute anyway, just around the back. So if you go into the very front here, then really you're looking at 57 centimetres, or 22 and a half inches. Or if you were including the handles as well, then really you're looking at 62 centimetres, or just around 24 and a half inches. So if you're thinking of purchasing the fridge freezer, then just make sure it'll fit in the space, because there's nothing more annoying than ordering it, then you go to put it in the space and it doesn't fit. You got a nice easy grip handle on the left hand side here to open the door. Now, when I say about the handles on the left hand side, the door is reversible. So it is quite an easy process to reverse the door. It is covered in the instructions. And if you needed to reverse the door, so if you needed the hinge on the left hand side, basically just lie it on its back and then take the doors off, relocate the hinges and the handles onto the other side, and then you're ready to go. So it's quite a simple process. Uh, but you do need the space to do it and clearly you want to do it before you start putting any food in. You'll notice that you've got four shelves in here. Uh, if you wanted to take the shelves out for cleaning purposes or just to relocate them to a different level within the fridge then that's nice and easy. That just drops on there then you're ready to go. Each of the shelves I'll just put the tape measure across it so you're looking around 45 centimeters or just over 17 and a half inches wide and then the depth of them looking at 30 centimeters or just well around 12 and a half inches deep. You have got the salad box at the bottom and if you take that out you've got one large salad box and personally I really like that because if you're having so if you're putting things like leeks or celery in here then I always think it's much better to have one large area than two smaller boxes. Temperature control is located at the top here and it goes from 0 to 5 and clearly at naught, that's going to be switched off as it is at the moment. And then as soon as you turn it on, you'll notice you've got a really nice LED light at the back here. That it's really nice having it at the top, uh, I suppose going all the way through the fridge. But you will find that as soon as you put food on the top, then clearly it's going to make it a little bit darker at the bottom. Capacity within the fridge is 167 litres, so really good space for getting plenty of food in there. When it comes to the door furniture, you've got several options here. If you wanted to relocate one of the shelves, then you've got the option to. I just recommend giving it a, a gentle tap evenly across it, and then that comes out. So it's nice and easy to keep clean if you want to give it a quick wash. Also, if you wanted to relocate it onto one of the other levels, then again, you've got that option. And to put it back in, just give it a gentle tap both sides, then you're ready to go. As far as the section at the bottom, you've still got plenty of space to get the large containers of milk or juice, whatever you put in. And as far as the size on that, you're looking at around 42 centimetres, around 16 and a half inches. And the depth of it, so front to back, you're looking at 11 centimetres or around four and a half inches. As we open the freezer door, capacity in the freezer is 119 litres, which actually for the size of this is actually really good. Now this one has what we call low frost. Now with low frost, although it's not frost free, so it's not circulating the air like a frost free model would, so it would still need to be manually defrosted, but only every now and then. Within the freezer, you've got four substantial drawers, and all of these have got handles on the side. So when it's full, if you're having to move it across your kitchen or pantry, then at least it's nice and easy to carry having the handles on the side. As far as the dimensions on each drawer, you're looking at 37 centimeters wide, or 14 and a half inches, and the depth of it, so front to back, you're looking around 36 and a half centimetres or around 14 and a half inches deep. I only mention the size of these because some people want to know the dimensions. If you've got things like packeted food um, or if you buy ready meals, then that could be a, just a good indicator as to what you can actually get in there. Also, these, you've actually got glass shelves in here that the, the shelf, the drawer, should I say, will sit on. 
The main advantage of having this is that if, for example, if it got to, say, Christmas time, and if you wanted to put a large turkey in here, then you have got the ability to take this glass shelf out and put a very large item in the drawer below. On some fridge freezers, you still have the traditional cooling elements in between, which will stop you taking the drawer out and having one large item in between. So that's something that's worth pointing out. That could be, could be quite useful. Uh, so these three drawers are all the same sizes. And then as you come to the bottom drawer, then that one is a little bit shallower. So with that one, you're looking at 19 centimetres or just under seven and a half inches deep. You will also notice that the Indesit have been very generous, giving us a cheeky little ice cube tray as well. So that comes with it. If it doesn't, then just contact your retailer or where you purchase it from, because it should be in there when it arrives to you. I'll just show you the energy label on the fridge freezer, and you'll notice that it's an E rating. Now, some of you might initially think, well, E isn't that great, but if you're comparing it to other fridge freezers, then actually in it at the moment is actually pretty good. Uh, showing that it's the consumption it will be approximately 240 kilowatt hours per annum and again if you're comparing that to other fridge freezers especially some equivalent frost free ones then that is actually very energy efficient just showing the capacity so 119 liters on the freezer 167 liters on the fridge if you go to the bottom of the energy label then you'll notice that you've got the noise level as well now this is something i don't always point out and i must admit when people are buying a fridge freezer it doesn't really come into conversation a lot. But if you live in an open plan area, or if you've got, say, a kitchen and, say, diner or living area that is close together, then it could be important for the fridge freezer to be quiet. Because sometimes, if depending on the surface that it's sitting on, say if it was a stone floor, then if you've got a loud fridge freezer, it can be quite frustrating. So just have a look at that, because that is B energy rating at 35 decibels. And again, compare it to other models if you're thinking of purchasing one, because that is actually really quiet. Get a couple of accessories in the instructions. First one is this, so I'll just show you what that's for. And that's designed just to pop in the back. You've got a little hole at the back there. That just stops any bits dropping down the back and blocking the hole. I did say I'll show you around the back of the fridge freezer. So here we go. You've got the grill on the back, like a standard fridge freezer. It's not got a flat back like on some of the models. And also, you get these with it as well. This is the final accessory. So you get a couple of those. I'll just show you what they're for, because they are designed. So you just pop them within the grill, twist it. So you just pop one either side, and that's just designed to make sure that the fridge freezer isn't pushed too far back to the wall. Because really, with any refrigeration appliance, you need air to circulate around it. And of course, if you push it too far back to the wall, you're not allowing air to circulate properly. If you're thinking of purchasing one of these models, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Indesit IB55732 fridge freezer. Would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up, click subscribe, leave any comments below. I always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, about the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and hopefully I've given you some information on it. If there's something you're not too sure about, or if you've got a question on it, then I've got this on display at the moment. Pop it in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have got one of these, or if you've got an Indesit fridge freezer like this, then let me know what you honestly think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.